to recap, most adaptogens work either by affecting the HPA axis and or the SAS system. Adaptogens that work by affecting the SAS system contain compounds that are similar in structure to the catecholamines and thus have a stimulatory effect. Adaptogens that affect the HPA axis contain compounds that are structurally similar to corticosteroids and thus will have a more of a calming effect. It's also important to note that some ingredients like rhodiola can affect both the SAS system and the HPA axis by different compounds that are within that ingredient. So rhodiola can contain both a stimulatory effect as well as a calming effect. So as far as types of adaptogens go, primary adaptogens are the most effective adaptogens having been researched extensively and having a direct effect on the HPA axis. Secondary adaptogens either do not affect the HPA axis or they have not been extensively studied enough to show that they do. Adaptogen companions, which are antioxidant ingredients like curcumin and resveratrol, can help enhance primary and secondary adaptogens to have a greater effect on the HPA axis and anabolism. The effect of adaptogens on a stress response reduces the fight or flight response, extends the phase of resistance, and reduces the phase of exhaustion, overall keeping the body closer to homeostasis, reducing the large fluctuations in stress hormones, and keeping us overall in a better mood and better focused. The most noticeable effects that adaptogens have on the stress response is increasing the phase of resistance, which can also be looked at as increasing both mental and physical performance, as well as giving us an adaptation where we are already better able to concentrate and have a better mood. Adaptogens can be thought of as a vaccine for stress. Adaptogens send small stress signals to the HPA axis in order to condition the HPA for knowing what to do and better to handle large stress when it comes to it.